Yo, what's up guys? This is Gangsta Jabs, and I calculated the DPS of every weapon in the game and I'm going to be using that to rank all of them from worst to best. So having a weapon that has high DPS is super important because with weapons like EM rifles that one-shot you, you want to deal as much damage while exposing yourself the least. So to calculate the DPS of a weapon, you take the damage per mag and you divide it by the time it takes for that mag to unload. So for example, the Arcturt 6 deals 22 1925 damage per mag and it takes seven seconds to unload so if it deals 22,925 damage in seven seconds that means it deals 3,275 damage in one second so I factored in effects like overheat, double damage, and implosion damage into my data. So that's why the damage per mag can look a bit different than it looks in the game. So here are the 27 weapons with the worst DPS in the game. I found it really interesting that the Auto Cannon 4 has a higher DPS than the Stasis Beam 16. Let's all laugh at the Stasis Beam 16 for being a garbage weapon. <laughs> I found it interesting how the Shotgun 4 has such a high DPS for its energy capacity. It has a DPS of almost 5000 which is above the Carbine 8. And the RPG 6 also has a super high DPS for its energy capacity. It has a DPS close to the Arc Turret 10 which is pretty crazy. So now we're going into the top 30 weapons with the highest DPS. Which weapons will be the highest DPS? So in 30th place is the Carbine 10 with a DPS of 6336. Six. This is after I factor in the 10% double damage chance. Without the double damage chance, the Carbine 10s deal 5,760 damage. And if you get double damage on every shot, the DPS is 11,520 damage. Next in 29th place is the Arc Turret 12 with a DPS of 6,550. I was surprised the Arc Turret 12 was this low in the list. The advantage of the Arc Turret 12 is that there's no damage fall off and the Arc Turrets can deal a ton of damage if the enemies are clumped up together. The Arc Turret 12 can deal a maximum DPS of 15,030 damage. Next, the Graviton Beam 10 with a DPS of 6,781 damage. This is the DPS with the implosion. Without the implosion, the DPS is 1,202 damage. This means that the Graviton's weakness is shields. I was shocked that the Graviton 10 has a higher DPS than the Arc Turret 12. Next is the Gauss Rifle 10 with a DPS of 7,192 damage. This is the DPS with the 50% double damage. Without the double damage, the DPS is 4,795 damage. And if all the shots get double damage, the DPS is 9,590 damage. Next is the Carbine 12 with a DPS of 7,597 damage. If no shots get the double damage, the DPS is 6,907 damage. And if all the shots get double damage, the DPS is 13,813 damage. Next is the Disc Launcher 12 with a DPS of 8,004 damage. Next is the Javelin Rack 4 with a DPS of 8,133 damage. This is with the 30% double damage factored in. Next is the Graviton Beam 12 with a DPS of 8,154 damage. This is with the implosion factored in. Without the implosion factored in, the DPS is 1,445 damage. Next, the Voltaic RPG 14 with a DPS of 8,929 damage. It is a magazine of 5 ammo while the 16 has a magazine of 4 ammo which is interesting. Next is the Disc Launcher 16 with a DPS of 9864 damage. The Disc Launcher 16 takes 0.5 seconds longer to unload the mag than the Disc Launcher 12 which is interesting. And the Disc Launcher 12 takes 0.5 seconds longer than the Disc Launcher 8 to unload. Next is the Missile Rack 6 with a DPS of 9982 damage. It's crazy how the Missile Rack 6 has a higher DPS than the Disc Launcher 16. Next, the Graviton Beam 16 with a DPS of 10,901 damage. This damage becomes 1,932 damage without the implosion. Next is the Long Arm 8 with a DPS of 12,257 damage. Without the overheat, the DPS is 9,356 damage. And if you get overheat on all your shots except the first one, the DPS is 16,841 damage. Next is the Shotgun 8 with a DPS of 12,472 damage. This DPS becomes 6,701 at 39 meters. So you want to be using your shotguns at 19 meters or closer. Next is the Javelin 
Javelin Rack 6 with a DPS of 12,698 damage. The Javelin Racks have a super high DPS for their energy capacity. Next, the Voltaic RPG 16 with a DPS of 12,755 damage. Next, the Missile Rack 8 with a DPS of 14,296 damage. And next, the Javelin Rack 8 with a DPS of 14,941 damage. Next is the Long Arm 10 with a DPS of 15,319 damage. This becomes 11,693 if you get overheat on none of the shots and 21,049 if you get overheat on all the shots. Next is the EM Rifle 6 with a DPS of 19,040 damage. Now it's the top 10. Which weapons will be at the top? First is the Long Arm 12 with a DPS of 20,260 damage. This becomes 17,541 if none of the shots get overheat and 31,574 if all the shots get overheat. Next the Missile Rack 12 with a DPS of 21,444 damage. Next is the EM Rifle 8 with a DPS of 25,384 damage. Next is the Railgun 16 with a DPS of 28,457 damage. This becomes 24,745 if none of the shots get double damage and 49,491 damage if all the shots get double damage. That's an incredibly high amount of DPS if this happens. Next is the EM Rifle 10 with a DPS of 31,735 damage. Next the EM Rifle 12 with a DPS of 38,073 damage. Next is the Rocket Mortar 8 with a DPS of 40,270 damage. The Rocket Mortars deal so much damage in such a little time. Next is the EM Rifle 16 with a DPS of 43,512 damage. Next is the Rocket Mortar 10 with a DPS of 50,760 damage. And the weapon with the highest DPS in the game is a Rocket Mortar 12 with a DPS of 61,624 damage. This becomes 123,248 damage with the back damage. And here's a bar graph for the DPS of every weapon in the game. You can see how high the Rocket Mortar 12 is on the left while how low the Thermal Lance 2 is on the right. I'm going to make a video soon where I use this data to calculate how long each weapon will take to kill a juggernaut. It should be a really interesting video so stay tuned for that. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and see you guys.